So welcome to the Fred Winter Centre. My name is John, I'm the Centre Manager. I work for Spring Housing Association. Uh, although I work for Spring, I feel I represent many organisations. It, it, uh, it really is a joint venture. Just here are some of the organisations that have funded this project. We work really closely with Stratford District Council, Town Council, Town Trust and some national funders. There are a number of organisations working here. Um, so Spring Housing, who provide the accommodation. We've got CGL, which is addiction recovery support. Mind, um, the mental health charity. Orbit Housing as a key partner. Stratford Food Bank, huge part of the, the centre. We're also supported by um, a number of national charities, such as Citizens Advice or the Samaritans. And then there are a lot of local organisations who are based here as well. So um, we have connections with the RSC, for example, Street Arts. Uh, this is the main centre. It is all open plan. Uh, we try and make it a relaxing, welcome environment, a safe space for anybody to access. So we have a mix of professionals working and having meetings. We have people accessing the community cafe and people accessing the services. Um, and also just, I mean, it's really important that this is a safe space where people can just be, you know, they can just be comfortable. They don't have to be here for any particular reason. We've been open for 18 months since the front doors opened, um, 12 months since residents moved into the apartments. So we do a lot of events here. We do a lot of partnership working with the DWP. Um, so we run a job fair here every quarter. Um, and a lot of specialist events like this one. So here today we've got Act on Energy, um, offering practical advice. Uh, we've got Citizens Advice with them and the Family Information Service. So it's a drop-in essentially. Anybody who works with the organisations here uh, can come along, find out a bit more um, and be signposted to the right direction. Toilet facilities. So as well as just toilets, we've got showers and laundry facilities that anyone can access. So anybody in need, uh, whether they're street homeless or lacking the facilities of their own, they are welcome to use them here and they're used on a daily basis. I mean, we've had four or five people today use the laundry and showers. The largest office we have is the South Warwickshire and Worcestershire Mind Office, which is back here, so it's hidden, it just you know keeps going. They have I don't know, 30 plus staff working from here um, and they run a number of wellbeing sessions across the week from, from this, this office. The garden wasn't originally part of the old department store, so we recognise the importance of outdoor space um, for the wellbeing of residents and staff. We've put up a wall to create our own garden. Um, as you can see, it's really not much to look at at the moment, but it's going to be started and completed within the next four weeks. 